BT's Body and Balance is sponsored by Canada Diagnostic Centers, offering MRI, X-ray, and ultrasound services in Calgary and Okotoks. On average, 67 Canadian women will be diagnosed with breast cancer every day. This is a terrifying diagnosis. But our health specialist, Leah Sarich, is here now with how the Breast Cancer Supportive Care Foundation is helping women on their cancer journey. Yeah, this foundation is amazing. I try to help them out every year because it's just about getting the word out that they exist because they do such good work and it is entirely free for every breast cancer patient. Wow. So it's wonderful. So of course when you hear those words you have cancer, absolutely terrifying. It's just horrifying. Uh, but at least here in Calgary and Southern Alberta you can access this foundation. So what they do is they basically help women cope right through the process. You can access them at any time from diagnosis to recovery and even beyond that. So it's they're wonderful. So they're a local nonprofit. They're a team of doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists, nurses. They're really looking at the patient as a whole person, right. which is really wonderful. Um, and so this is basically what they do. They provide medical-based support, including physical and emotional, to breast cancer patients. Our goal is to um, help to improve their outcomes and to optimize their medical care. And so we do this in a number of ways. We like to look at our patients from the physical, the mental, the emotional perspective. And we like to um, give them the knowledge and the tools they need so that they can navigate the system, they can understand their diagnosis and treatment, and that they can feel like they can make uh, informed decisions about their care. And you can imagine what kind of relief that would give these patients just to know that they're getting the best information to make the yeah. best decisions that they can. So this is Donna there. She is a breast cancer survivor. She was diagnosed back in January 2011. A friend also with breast cancer recommended the foundation to her when she was undergoing her treatment. Donna accessed them to help her negotiate the changes that she was feeling both physically and emotionally. So not only does the foundation help you make the best decisions with your medical care so you're well informed, but it's also so you're going to have the best outcome as well. Like, I mean, let's be clear. We want to get through this as well as we can, right? Mm -hmm. So they're teaching patients all about wellness practices too. You know, we hear about how wellness practices really help these patients. So things like diet and exercise, nutrition, all of that kind of stuff is what they're doing as well. And of course, they also help women cope with the emotional, even the spiritual impact of having cancer. I think when I finished treatment, I had thought that I my life would return to normal, whatever normal is. But... I thought it would just sort of automatically go back. And when I finished treatment, I, it, 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 my life wasn't normal. I was um, emotionally drained, physically exhausted, just reeling with all the after effects. And um, through the doctors here, it was just to kind of help to rediscover uh, maybe what a new normal is in my life and how to move forward and how to just accept the fact that it's okay that I'm I'm not feeling really well yet. Yeah, it's okay to take the time. And it's really about the time. Of course, the doctors at the foundation, they have time to spend with these patients. So they do one-on-one -on -one care. They do group care. They even provide support to patients' families if they need it. One of Donna's favorite experiences was the group session she did with 10 other breast cancer patients. So she found that incredibly helpful. And Donna says she accessed the mental health side regularly over the last few years and continues to do so. Um, so we want to support them you know, as whole people, not just as cancer patients. So they do amazing work. Okay, and we want to help support this yes, organization. Yes, we do. They're we having wanna... a fundraiser. Yes, we do. They are having a fundraiser coming up at the end of the month. It's the Fashion with Compassion, the Glamour Gala. It's on Saturday, September 27th, so it's coming up. Tickets do go fast for this event. You can get them online. There will be a link on my blog and on our website as well. Okay, breakfasttelevision.ca, health specialist. Go and support them. They do great yeah, work. Incredible. incredible yes, work. and it's all free. Go, go, go. Amazing <laughs> what happens in our city, right? That's right, exactly. We have